Hello, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video I'm going to show you how to make my new design called the Mentor Chunky Pom Pom Hat. This hat does come in two sizes, a youth and an adult, and I designed this hat using Red Heart's new yarn called Soft Essentials, and it is very soft. It is a chunky number five, and it is a beautiful yarn. Look at this sheen on that. This is the Greyhound, and this is the Sugar Plum. And I use both these colors in my new design. Now, the new design takes about five ounces, and each one of these is five ounces. So you could get one and test out the pattern. Now, I made this hat to match the scarf that I'm wearing. And this is the Mentor scarf. Mentor. <laughs> it's a tar. Mentor scarf or cowl and it's a super easy pattern and I made the hat to go with the scarf now this is made out of Red Heart Grande but you could make this out of the new soft essentials as well so to make the mentor chunky pom-pom hat you're going to need two colors of the Red Heart soft essential chunky number five yarn I'm using Sugar Plum and the Gray today. You're going to need a K-hook, and the K-hook is a 6.5 millimeter. You're going to need a needle with a nice big hole in it, because this is a chunky number five, and we'll need that for just for weaving in our ends. And of course, a pair of scissors, because we're going to be putting a pom-pom on the top of our hat, and you're going to need a good pair of sharp scissors to trim that pom-pom. So go and grab your supplies, and we'll get started. I'm going to begin using my gray hound yarn, because I'm going to do my hat band in the gray. And we're going to start at the hat band and work our way up. So we're going to make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain six chains. six chains. Then we're going to skip the first chain and stitch one single crochet in the next five chains. So we have five single crochets we're going to chain one and turn. Now our turning chain is just that. That chain one is just a turning chain. It does not count as a stitch. We're going to begin stitching in the back loops of our row of each stitch. Now if you look at the top of my stitches, it looks like there's a braid going across. And you have two loops. Your front loop is the loop that's closest to you. Your back loop is the loop that's facing away. And so we're going to be stitching in our back loops. And this is going to give us that ridge look and make the band of the hat nice and stretchy. So I'm going to go in the back loop and stitch a single crochet in each of the back loops going across. We'll chain one and turn. And we're going to do this technique, if you want to call it that, for as long as we need the band. Now, this pattern does come in two sizes, like I said earlier. And the smaller size, let me check. It's a youth and an adult size. And you're going to need to do 44 rows for the youth size and 54 rows for the adult size. So let's do another row together. Chain one does not count as a stitch, so we begin and let's we'll go right in that back loop, single crochet, 
all the way across. Chain one and turn. And you can see we're already beginning to make the ridges. And you need to do this depending on which size of hat that you're making, either 44 rows or 54 rows. And it's a good idea to measure your head because sometimes your head doesn't fit between those two sizes. And so you can measure your head and make the rows, make the rows as many as needed for your head size. Again, you can see how those ridges are starting to form. So, make your hat band as long as you need it, and then I'll show you how to connect it together. I've stitched my 54 rows, and now I'm ready to place my two ends together. And the way we do that is we put our two ends together, And you don't tie out after you get as long as you want it because you need to um, slip stitch the ends closed. So I'm going to move that string out of the way there. And so here's my two ends that I want to stitch closed. We have five single crochets and so we're going to have five slip stitches. So we're going to go right in that first stitch and right in that first chain on the other side and make a slip stitch. And we'll do the same thing to the next four stitches. And I do suggest you do this just a little bit loose, not too tightly, because you don't want it to pucker. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five slip stitches. I'm just going to make another little chain right there to hold that. And here is the band of our hat. Nice and stretchy. And that's one thing you need to remember when you're making this kind of a band. If you make the band too big and it doesn't stay put, your hat can slide down on your head. So make sure you make it just a little bit snug at this point. We're going to be stitching in the tops of our stitches. And I want to explain to you real quick where those stitches are going to go. We're going to be placing one double crochet in each of the end of the rows. Now, when we made our rib stitching, you have a rib on each side. So there's a rib here and then there's a rib here. And sometimes it's a little bit confusing where to put your stitches. And what you need to do is you'll put a stitch on the end of a rib and then you'll put one in between because that's the rib on the other side. And so if you stitched 54 rows like the pattern states, you need to stitch 54 double crochets. And in order to do that, you'll need to put a stitch, just looking on the top side, you'll need to put a stitch at the end of each rib and in between each rib because the ribs are on both sides because of us stitching in the back loops only to give us that stretchy band. And I, want, I, was, I wanted to really clarify that because that can be a little bit confusing. So we're going to start with chaining three. One, oops, two, three. And that's just to get us started. And then we're going to place a double crochet, like I said, at the end of each row. Double crochet is yarn over, go in the end of that first rib, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two. So now our next stitch is going to be in between. So we're going to yarn over, go in between the next two ribs, yarn over, just like that. And we'll do this all the way around our hat band. One double crochet in the end of each row and the number of double crochets should be the same number. Whoops, got me a little snag. 
should be the same amount of stitches as you did for your band. So here's my band. I'm double crocheting around. And then we'll come back here and join. So one double crochet in the end of each row. And this is what your band or beginning of your hat should look like at this point. We've done our hat band and then we double crocheted in each of the ends of the rows around. Now instead of joining, instead of joining to the top of this chain three, I want you to join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch. And that's just going to give that a nice tight look there. Now I'm going to be changing colors at this point. You do not have to, but if you do, we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to join in our next color. It's real important when you're joining in your next color that you do it before you do any of a chain three, chain two, or chain one. And that's because, like on this one, we're going to chain four. And if we were to chain four before we changed colors, that chain four would be in the gray and then it wouldn't look very good. So the first thing we're going to do, if you did not change colors, is chain four. And the way this next row works, get my scissors out of the way, the way the ne this next row is going to work is we're going to, this first chain four counts as a double crochet chain one. And we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to chain one. And we'll do this, oh, don't tell me I have a knot. I do, goodness gracious, there we go. <laughs> the way this next row works is chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Very simple. We'll do this all the way around our hat. We chained one. We're going to skip this next stitch and then we're going to double crochet in this next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And we will do this all the way around the hat and it's going to look like this. We'll do it all the way around and then we'll join to the top of the chain three. I did my double crochet chain one row all the way around and now I'm going to join. <clears throat> I want to make sure you remember that we're going to join in the third chain, not the fourth, because that fourth chain counts as a chain one. So one, two, three, we're going to join with the slip stitch. And then we're going to go right in that first chain one space and chain four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> and this row is similar to the previous row. The only difference is we're going to be placing our double crochets in the chain one spaces. So we've got a chain four, counts as a double crochet chain one. So we're going to go right in this next chain one space and make a double crochet. Chain one. And we go right in that chain, next chain one space and make a double crochet, chain one. And see how that looks? Do another one. Chain one, going right in those chain one spaces all the way around the row. My hook out of the way there. We're going to make the double crochet in each of the chain one spaces with a chain one in between. And this is setting us up for what the hat's going to look like. <clears throat> I 
be sure and go all the way around the row and then we're going to join again in that chain three. Doesn't that look pretty? This yarn is just beautiful. We've done our chain one double crochet in each of the chain one spaces and we're going to repeat this same technique double crochet chain one all the way around for four more rows <clears throat> if you're doing the youth size and you're going to need five more rows if you're doing the adult size but if you want to make this into a slouchy hat you can do this particular portion because we're, this is just straight up until we start decreasing a little bit in order to get the shape of the hat so you can do four five six seven rows if you want to if your head's really long and you want more rows do more rows so I'm going to add probably four or five more rows to this one haven't decided yet I'll let you know <laughs> Well, I decided to go ahead and do the additional five. So I have seven rows all together. Our first row was our setup row, and then we did the next row. And now I have a total of seven rows. Um, and this next row is going to be our first decrease row. Now, if you want your hat longer, you can do this row as much as you want. If you want it to be a slouchy, add as many rows as you want to. This yarn is just gorgeous and it works up really nice for this project. Anyway, <laughs> I'm enjoying working with this yarn. All right, so what we're going to do like we did before, go in that first chain one space and slip stitch and then chain four, except we're only going to chain three. And that's because we're going to be doing this row a little bit different because this is the beginning of our decrease. And what we're going to do is we're not going to do the chain ones in between. And that's why we only chained three here because we just need a double crochet. So what we're going to do is just place a double crochet in each of the chain one spaces. No chain ones in between, just a chain, excuse me, just a double crochet in each of the chain one spaces around. And this is the uh, way that we are going to decrease on this row and that's why you can see it's already pulling in and that's why it was real important that you do your rows as much as you want because the next two rows are our decrease rows and then we'll be tying off and this is the length of your hat if you have a really long head like I said or you just want more rows for room um, you can do the, these rows as many rows as needed because this row is our decrease row. So back to what we were doing. One double crochet in each of the chain one spaces all the way around our hat. So you can see it pulled it in just a little bit for that first decrease row. Now this next row, we're going to be doing two double crochets together, or sometimes called a double crochet decrease. So we're going to go ahead and chain three. And then what we're going to do is stitch the next two double crochets together. So we'll yarn over, we'll go in that first stitch and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next double crochet and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first three. Yarn over, go through the second two or the last two. And we're going to do this double crochet decrease all the way around the hat. So we're going to yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Go through the next three, yarn over, go through the last two. And we'll do this all the way around. Whoops, I forgot to yarn over. We'll do this all the way around our hat. And then we'll join back to the top of that chain three that we added. 
All right, let me walk you through it one more time. Make sure you understand what we're doing. Yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first three. Yarn over, go through the last two. That's our double crochet decrease, or stitching two double crochets together. So we did the double crochet decreases, or stitching two double crochets together, all the way around our hat. And now we have this little opening. And what we're going to do, don't tie off just yet, I want you to cut about a 12 to 18 inch piece of yarn, and then we'll tie that off and snug that down. And we're going to use this piece of yarn with our yarn needle. Thread that on there. And we're going to go inside the hat. So I'm going to turn it over, wrong side out. It's just as pretty on the wrong side, isn't it? All right, and now we're going to gather the whole close. So we've got our yarn here. There we go. And we're just going to go around those stitches that we made, working in and out. Of those stitches. until we reach back around to where we started. And I always go a few more stitches just because I want to make sure it's going to hold. And then gently tug that closed. Make sure you kind of pull those stitches up so that they can be seen. And then I make a few stitches, kind of going across those top loops. because I want my hat to stay closed on the top. Wouldn't that be embarrassing to be wearing a hat? Well, I guess it would be an open bun, one of those messy bun hats if it's open at the top, huh? And this hat would make a good messy bun hat. Just don't close the top of it. All right, so I've done a lot of stitching there. Pull on it, make sure it's gonna stay. And I do this. This is a thing I do when I'm closing a hat. I'll pull the loop back and then I'll have this string and then I'll tie a couple knots like that. Like that. So there's two. And I always do one like this. Three knots. <laughs> Same thing I do with my pom poms. Three knots. All right. That's nice and secure. And we'll just cut that. And we'll flip our hat back over. And that's the way the hat looks. But it looks a little bit naked to me. And that's why I wanted to show you how to make a pom pom for this hat. Now you can wear it just like this. You could add some buttons or some flowers or whatever you wanted to. But it's a great basic hat. And it could be for man, woman, boy, or girl. Any colors you choose. Be great in school colors too. All right, so let's make a pom pom. Now there are several ways that you can make a pom pom. You can use your hand, you can use toilet paper rolls, or you can use hoops, and then there's tons of other ways out there too. Now I did do a video on how to make pom poms, and I'll hook that here so you can have some other choices. I want to make kind of a floppy pom pom, and I usually make my big pom poms with a hoop. And um, I don't usually like using the plastic ones, but I wanted it to be just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use the plastic one. And what I do is I begin first, I just lay my yarn across and I put the hoop back together. Just like that. And then I just begin wrapping my yarn in the circle. Now, with these plastic ones, they kind of slide. And so you're, you'll have to probably bring it back over and just keep it going. And you're going to do this until it's the thickness that you want. Then you'll cut another string 
and you'll tie it around the center of your pom-pom just like this and then you'll cut your edges um, I have one that I already have made here that I'm going to use and what you'll do is you'll tie the center tie it with three knots and then cut your edges here and here with your scissors and you'll get a pom-pom that's shaped about like this now the more times you wrap that yarn around the hoop the thicker your pom-pom will get I've got a nice long string on this one then you after you've cut your edges you're gonna need to trim it and I just push it forward like this and I trim off all those edges until it's exactly the way I want it. Now I did trim this one earlier and it is real important to have a good sharp pair of scissors and then once I trim it fluff it out. Now you can cut yours closer in for a tighter pom-pom but I wanted a nice big floppy one. Alright so let's hook it onto our hat and what I do is after I'm happy with how my pom-pom looks I take these two strings and I put my crochet hook in on the sides as high up to that center as possible and I just pull one of those loops through that I have saved from the center and then I'll go on the other side nice up and close and grab that other string all right so let's go on the inside of our hat Pull those up nice and tight and then again I do the three knot method one two then I wrap this one so that it's a loop and I tie it again nice and tight that's actually four knots isn't it I don't want my pom-pom coming off <laughs> give that a cut and now we've got a nice big floppy pom-pom on our hat. So this is my mentor chunky pom-pom.